A special photo exhibition opened at the South Korean Parliament today displaying evidence of Japan's wartime atrocities. Of course, it's connected to the reasons Japan is targeting the Korean economy. Our Kim mo gyun was there and files this report. The ruling Democratic Party's Special Committee on the Japanese Economic Aggression opened a photo exhibition on Wednesday depicting Japan's past wartime atrocities. Japan denies it, but South Korea says Tokyo's latest economic restrictions are an act of retaliation for decisions last year by the Supreme Court in Seoul holding Japanese companies liable for wartime forced labor. In remarks opening the exhibition, Democratic Party Chairman Lee Hye-chan condemned the Japanese government's latest measures and said the Abe administration is once again denying the past. The forced labor and comfort women issues are more than a row between Seoul and Tokyo. It is about Japan's understanding of humanity and of universal human rights. Japanese politicians in the past had a sense of conscience, but the Abe administration is denying the past and infringing on freedom of expression. The three-day exhibition features an array of old photos and vivid interviews donated by the so-called comfort women and the victims of forced labor under Japan during World War II. Visitors attach chrysanthemums to the photos as a symbol to honor the victims ahead of the National Memorial Day for the Comfort Women, which falls on August 14th. Organizers say they hope the exhibition would remind people of the pain of the past, help them sympathize with the Koreans who suffered, and heal the wounds of the victims. Kim mo Arirang News.